We at Target, y'all. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Saturday. Want to say hi, Paris? <laughs> Just me and my princess Paris hanging out today. I don't know why I didn't vlog earlier, but I had Paisley with me and we went shopping. Happy Saturday. We got the clearance rack here. Clearance. What is this? I still gotta go home, y'all. I've been running around all day with my daughters. It was fun though, but it's burning up out here. It's 100 degrees and it is hot. Thank God my daddy fixed my AC. So it's, it's nice and cold inside my car. Thank you, daddy. Oh, these are cute. I always kind of wanted to get one. I know everybody has these little pop-up things. Do you have one? Comment below. It says never drop your phone if you put this on there. But eight dollars, even on the clearance, this little thing is eight dollars. Oh no, they didn't have to have a, like a light pink one. Is this light pink? Kind of light pink. Guys, the toys that they have out nowadays. Look at this. Lip balm lab. Like when do kids sit and make lip balm, you guys? Like the way the kids play nowadays. What happened to Monopoly and Connect Four and Trouble and Simon and Sorry and Scrabble? Hmm? And it's so sad that Toys R Us is closing. It's like the end of toys. Like literally, if you want a toy for your kid, you gotta go to Walmart or Target. What Toys R Us is gone? Yeah, they're completely closing up all their stores. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. That's no fair. I know. We gotta go before they are the way closed up. Yes, you have. You just don't remember. You were little. She's been to Toys R Us, y'all. She's making me look bad. <laughs> oh, that is cute. What? What? <laughs> y'all look at this cute bag y'all that is so cute hey guys look it's so pretty it's so cute <laughs> oh, cute I like this this is cute here they go again you guys look at all the new oreos again some of these look nasty like that pina colada i don't think that's gonna be a go for me but I would try that kettle corn and try this one. That cherry my cola. cola. I'll try that. Be my cherry Man, cola. Oreos never stop, right? That's crazy. Let me comment below you guys and let me know if you guys tried these new Oreos. Y'all look at the clearance rack though. It is so bare. Like there's hardly anything here. And the wine they got is boo-boo. Mm, mm. Do y'all do that? I like to compare prices. Like I want to know the price of something at Target and then the price of things at Walmart and the price of things at Winko's and the price of things at Safeway, all of that, y'all. I like to know because I'm trying to get the best deal. So yeah, we're just wandering around in here, y'all, wasting time. Really don't have nothing to do, but I really need to get my butt home and start cooking because it's getting late. Have y'all got your Cinco de Mayo going? Y'all eating? What y'all making today? Are you making tacos, enchiladas, tostadas, taquitos? What y'all having today? Are y'all making fresh guacamole and salsa? What are you guys making? Comment below and let me know what you guys are cooking. I will vlog what I make today. Um, for sure I know I'm making tostadas and I'm making tacos. So, yeah. You said nachos. Oh, and nachos, if they won't. Yeah, there's <laughs> plenty of nachos stuff. And tacos and tostadas. I'm going to have both. I'm going to have all of it, too. I'm about to tear it all up. I'm about to be straight <laughs> stuffed. I can't even it. Because I'm from Cali, y'all. And when you live in Cali, you celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Because Cali 
where I grew up is a melting pot like all my best girlfriends and guy friends are Mexican and a lot of my parents friends and best friends were Mexican so I grew up with people who I called like my Thea you know um, oh my god I cannot remember right now um, uncle in Spanish but I had lots of play uncles and aunts you know that were Mexican so and still are so yeah y'all and I learned how to make homemade Spanish rice and all that stuff I'm gonna make some muffins. she always baking making muffins every day trying to make her mama get bigger and bigger no not for you mm -hmm. well I'm eating them <laughs> well I still have some more though chocolate chip I'm gonna make the chocolate one the chocolate chip wait chocolate the one with the dark chocolate chocolate, chocolate chip yeah, yeah. Chocolate, chocolate they have chip. a new one called chocolate chocolate chip it is straight chocolatey I don't know we'll see I think you should try something new since you've been you already made the chocolate chip yesterday yeah. right yeah should try something new yeah, but I gotta use the bathroom, you guys, and um, I don't like using public bathroom. I hate public bathrooms, so comment below if you have the same issue, like you don't like using public restrooms, because I hate public restrooms. So, yeah, we're gonna have to get out of here, like, really soon, because uh, I drunk one of them, um, what is those we had today? What? Oh, slushy. We had a slushy today, and oh my god. I really feel like I have to go, um, no, I have to really pee, because I've been out all, like, for hours, so, yeah, but out here, everybody drinks slushies when it's hot, so, yeah. Y'all, why am I craving beef jerky, though? Well, I want turkey jerky. I don't really like beef jerky, but turkey jerky, y'all. Turkey jerky is only $3.39 here. Hey, Paris found her little snack. We just need to head home because we hungry. Look at all this beef jerky. Comment below if you like beef jerky or turkey jerky, whatever. All this jerky. A turkey jerky, a turkey one. The, oh my goodness. This says cranberry. Have you tried this? Greek yogurt. I've never tried that. No. Leaving Target. It was fun. It's always fun coming in Target. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. What? Still sunny. Oh, ah, somebody dropped a bunch of popcorn on the floor. Thank you. I thought it was flower. Thank you. Ooh, it's bright. I thought it was Look how bright cool and out. hot it is. Oh my God! Cool you guys, it's burning up out here. Come on, hurry. I thought it was. Cool no, down. it's not gonna ever cool down again, Paris. Oh ever God. again. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, Pray for you? us here in Arizona, yeah. Pray for us. Arizona. No offense. Huh? I hate Arizona. Oh my god, don't say that. No offense. Oh. We just hate the heat, you guys. Like, why? Yeah. For yeah. real. That's what I Comment below if you guys are having heat right now. Are you guys still in the winter weather? California. Winter weather is over here. Sprint, yeah. Spring weather is over here, too, you guys. Oh my goodness. Thank God for the AC, y'all. Thank God for the AC. Time to go home. Thank you, Jesus. I'm about to tear up this beef jerky. You the one wanted to go to Target. I, I, I wanted to go to home. What? I told you you didn't have to. No, she didn't, y'all. Don't believe that. No lie. What does that smell? I always be smelling stuff like it smells like boo boo or farts, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god hopefully they me <laughs> yeah i got these little fresheners in my car you see these fresheners i got these two fresheners they don't seem like they working y'all <laughs> unless somebody unless i stepped in something did we step in something i don't think so 
Oh, my toes look so cute. They're yellow. I gotta show y'all my toes, y'all. My toes looking cute right now. Let me show y'all. My toes, y'all, they look at cute. Look at them. They yellow. I never did yellow before, you guys. I really love my toes, though. I think they are yellow. They so cute. Got the sandals on, y'all. I've been pe promising my Princess Paris a Tasty book. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Tasties, but they have a YouTube channel where they teach you how to cook all kinds of meals. Crock pot meals, smoothies, dinners, snacks, any and everything that you would like and you always have ideas of what to cook or what to make at special occasions football games basketball birthday game everything you could think of this is an awesome awesome um, YouTube channel and they have just put out cookware you guys at Walmart's and they have books and we went to Target today as you know and last year I think it was last year my daughter Paris wanted this book it was tasty and they had it 30% off and at the time I just was strapped for money and I could not afford to get it and I told her when I get the money baby I'm coming back and I'm gonna get you that tasty's recipe cookbook and we came back today y'all a year later and they had one left on the shelf at 30% off look at the Lord look at he left one on the shelf for my baby he knew today was the day and he left one book for my baby to swoop up and I am so grateful I am so grateful yes so I'm gonna show y'all what she's looking at right now because she is so happy John Paris what the Lord saved for you a year later hey there it is y'all that's the book that she's always been wanting i'm so happy for her are you happy babe mm -hmm. did jesus leave it special for you mm -hmm. yes he did Mommy, what is this? i don't know i can't see we have to look more when we get home i don't know we're gonna have to look mustard it says no, mustard no, not that one. Uh, okay, and uh, you guys, I also got my beef jerky, like I said I was going to get. Turkey jerky, about to cut that, about to break that open right now, that turkey jerky, y'all. About to be bomb. Mom, this is that like, bomb. This is Mexican. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says that. You guys. Okay. So we made it back home guys and I'm getting started on my Cinco de Mayo dinner. Cinco de Mayo did it. Cinco de Mayo did it. So yeah, I already got my ground turkey. I got a huge package of ground turkey because I'm about to make like two meals in one. I use this one um, right here because I'm trying to get it out so I can show y'all a little smushed up but I use this one right here at Walmart right now it's only seven dollars and like 44 cents or something like that ah, so I'm making a mess but anyways so so far I put in these pinto beans I'm gonna put in two cans of these pinto beans right here I have to pour them in right now I'm only making a small pot of chili. I'm not making a huge pot. I also put diced tomatoes, but I'm going to wait a little while before I add these diced tomatoes. Sorry, you guys. Add these diced tomatoes. I'm going to add right now these kidney beans right here. I just got to open them up. And I'm going to have some refried beans because we're going to have um, tostadas. Where are my tostadas at? Y'all, I don't even know what my tostadas. We have tacos. Tacos, guys. You guys see that? Tostadas. I mean, not break them. Ooh, I hate when you get a pack of broken taco shells. I don't know if I'm going to try these, but we got jumbo taco shells, too, y'all. 
but we'll probably have enough meat and stuff for the next two days because we're gonna have chili and we're gonna have these tacos and tostadas so yeah it's about to get that it's about to go down 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 what'd you say and what Nachos. She says I keep forgetting to say nachos, but they know we can eat nachos. Whenever I make Mexican food, we always have nachos because I buy lots of tortilla chips. And um, yeah, so you can always make nachos. Um, I got my onion and a big old onion. Got my bell pepper to cut up in this stuff. I'm, the onion and bell pepper I'm putting inside the chili, you guys. Okay. I'm excited you guys this pan right here I didn't even get to tell y'all I found this pan right right here guys at the Goodwill this is a corning ware that I love and adore that I used to have long time ago when my baby girl was a baby my first baby girl was a baby Paisley and I found so many pieces at the Goodwill and they literally were brand new brand new pieces not one scratch not one rust not a crack anything you guys it's like the lord just sat those corning ware cookware right there for me so yeah i like corning ware and i like um fowl i think it's called fowl f-a-l this these pots right here that i'm using i love these brands i just love cooking on these i love non-stick i love how they cook everything about it comment below what kind of cookware that you guys use what kind of pots and pans that you use what kind of bakeware that you use and why I love it I love this cookware because they cook evenly they don't burn they don't stick they clean up quick they don't stick to any uh, your food does not stick to the pan even when you make eggs it comes out it don't stay all stuck up in the pan and everything like that. So yeah, I'm just up here getting this meat going. There's a lot of meat, but it's going to go into the chili. Half is going to go into the chili, and the other half is going to be for tacos, tostadas, and nachos. I didn't forget Paris nachos. Yeah, so I got all the trimmings, y'all. Y'all going to see the salsa. The sour cream, the hot sauce, everything that I got to go with this dinner. I need to open up my um, I need to open up my um, kidney beans right now, you guys. So I'm gonna set you down real quick. Okay, guys. So I got my bell pepper and my onions cut up for my chili. Yes, my meat is coming along almost done it's almost all done and I'm gonna put half of this inside the chili beans and chili beans is cooking they bubbling they're bubbling over there turn the light on so y'all can see a little bit better but actually the natural sunlight is better I got everything lined up over here my taco packet then I'm gonna put on my taco meat Comment below if you guys use taco packets and stuff. Chili right here. It's my chili packet, y'all. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm about to add these onions and bell pepper to the beans. There we go. Don't spill them. Yep. That meat is sizzling. Okay guys, so I got some fresh hot salsa on deck. I already started eating it last night because I love chips and salsa. Got some pico de gallo and some cantina salsa on deck, y'all. It's about to go down. About to go down, y'all. Yes. As you can see, the meat is done. The pinto beans and I mean the chili beans for the chili is boiling. Look at how beautiful it looks when you put the fresh vegetables. The fresh. Look how beautiful it looks when you put fresh onion and bell pepper and it. it looks so fresh and so delicious. Yes. About to add the meat and add the diced tomatoes and then the chili packet. Yes. Go down, y'all. 
here's the chili packet that I use and here's the taco packet that I use I do use the store brand so don't get it twisted it just happened to be that the Lari's taco packets were on sale so I just snatched those up yeah. just getting my cook on my kids are just upstairs chilling some of them are asleep it's so hot out here you guys when it's hot you just don't get motivated to even want to go out and do anything it just you ever live somewhere where during the summer or the hot seasons it's just so hot you just don't even want to go out anywhere comment below and let me know where you guys live my subscribers live i am so interested in knowing where all of you guys live you know so i know you know the kind of weather or what's going on in your state and your town you know and also i want to thank all my new april subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to my channel life with joyce nicole i totally appreciate each and every one of you for giving me a chance for clicking on my channel and looking at my vlogs i just totally am appreciative of you guys to support in your love god bless you guys and all your families and i hope you guys continue to tune in and enjoy the content that i'm putting out on my channel i hope it motivates you inspires you um makes you smile something so yeah 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 still up here finishing up this food the meat is done about to add this to the chili right now so i think it's good just chopping it up making sure that there's not too many big pieces chunks chunks of um turkey so now I'm going to add the turkey ground to the chili. Oops. Let's see how this looks yes yes look at that y'all look at that chili yes lord that looks so delicious oops sorry delicious mm, 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 mm. Yep, i think that is a good enough amount of meat here it is okay, one more little scoop I am making a mess here <laughs> but I clean up as I go do you guys clean up as you cook I clean up as I cook I think that's the only way to do it y'all to clean up while you cook it's easier that way yep one more little scoop I think won't hurt there's a lot of meat there yeah that's perfect that is perfect so now this is all the meat that's going to be for the tacos and tostadas right here about to add the diced tomatoes and taco meat is done 